Hey guys, so tonight I wanted to sit down and talk to you about something that I have wanted to film for a while now, and that is how I handle being a nursing mom and having to pump while I am at work. So I used to work full time up until when I had Kyle, but I now work part time, so I'm there for five hours a day, Monday through Friday. Uh, because Kyle is six months old, I have a pretty regulated supply and he eats about every two and a half to three and a half hours. So I actually only pump once while I'm at work. Uh, so the kind of routine that I go through is that I will wake up at 6.30 and my husband Matt will bring Kyle to me and I will feed him in bed and then around 7 o'clock, I will uh, finish feeding him. I'll get up and get myself ready for work. Then I will leave the house at 7.30ish, 7.45, and be at work by 8. Kyle will be good to eat until about 10 o'clock. And I actually go to pump around 10.30. And then he probably will not eat until around noon uh, and then whenever I get home around 1 30 I will nurse him again and then I I only nurse him uh, throughout the rest of the day I don't pump anymore when I'm at home so like I said I will pump whenever it's about 10 30 and so what I do to kind of bring along my pumping supplies is I hide it <laughs> in this bag. Not that I have to hide it, but uh, I just like to bring it in a bag that doesn't scream, hey, I have my pump in this bag. I know some pumps come with like this black bag that says the brand name on it, and I just didn't really feel like buying that. So um, I just use this cooler that someone purchased for me as a wedding gift, and it's great because I can fit the pump and all the supplies that comes along with it and then I can put on top of that my lunch and any drinks that I bring and my wallet so everything I take to work actually just fits really well in this bag if I can find it I will try to link it down below I'm not sure where uh, the lady that got it for me purchased it from um, but I'll try to find it and link it if I can so I will just kind of store this under my desk until I go to the area that is designated for me and there's one other lady at work that pumps and I think she pumps every two hours um, but I'll just store it under my desk until I go to that area and so I carry the cord which I use the Medela pump and style advanced I think is what it's called and Something that I've noticed, and I think about it almost every time I plug it in, is how long the cord is. That comes in handy that it's such a nice long cord. And I don't know, I think about my phone, which the cord is super short, and I struggle all the time when I have to plug my phone in. I think, why isn't the cord longer? So I like that the cord is long for this. Then I have in there the pump, and then I store the tubing for it inside the pump which I'm sure you're probably not supposed to do that but it it works just fine it keeps me from getting it lost or getting it dirty so I just store them in there um, and then I also have a cooler which I purchased from skip hop uh, and it fits two eight ounce bottles in there and it also comes with a freezer bag insert which will keep the bottles cool plenty long enough for me when I'm at work so I just uh, store in there the phalanges I think they're called the two bottles and then my bottle caps are down there in there in the bottom uh, and then I think I typically pump anywhere from five to eight ounces. It kind of just depends on the day, I guess. Um, 
So yeah, I'll, I'll pump and then I'll store that in there and I'll put it right back under my desk. And when I get home, I'll just put them straight into the refrigerator so they stay cool. Whatever I pump that day, Kyle will drink the next day. Uh, so I only have one bottle for him in the morning. I used to have two bottles for him. But since I've started feeding him puree that I make for him on a more regular basis, he'll drink a bottle in the morning around 10 o'clock. And then he will, if he eats again while I'm gone, lately I think he's been going a little bit longer, um, but if he eats again, he'll eat that puree that I have um, set aside for him and I think he will eat around noon sometimes. Uh, so yeah, that is kind of the routine that I go through. Um, I used to be very uncomfortable the very first week back from my maternity leave. I talked to my supervisor and I explained that I would need to take a break um, and you know have a place where I could pump and they were very uh, understanding of that and and were great to provide a place for me to go but um, I was just a little uh, self-conscious about it because I had never pumped outside of my home I really hadn't done a lot of nursing outside of the home and so I was just kind of uh, embarrassed I guess about it and I guess one of the cons about the Medela pump and style, at least the one that I have, the motor is kind of loud. So I know that when people walk by the room or people in offices on the other side of the wall can hear it. And that really bothered me because I'm thinking people are walking by and they hear that and they know, well, we know what she's in there doing. She's got her boobs out of her shirt and she's in there pumping milk for her baby. but. You know what, you just have to do what you have to do to provide for your baby in whatever way you do that. And so I got over it real fast. Um, I work with a lot of really um, supportive people. I've got a lot of coworkers that are moms and they've been there before. They've, uh, a lot of them have nursed and uh, pumped also. And so they completely understand and have been completely supportive. and. I have even joked around saying you could pump at your desk and we wouldn't even care. I won't do that, <laughs> but it's great to just have a lot of uh, really supportive and wonderful coworkers to work with. Uh, so, you know, if you're a mom and you're getting ready to go back to work and you know that you're going to have to pump uh, and you're just looking for, you know, a way that you're going to have to figure out how to do that or you're just looking for support, I hope that you know that you're not alone and it's completely okay to feel uncomfortable but you'll get there thank you so much for watching bye